that's honey. Yo, it's truly good with you guys. Today we're gonna be cooking up in Logic Pro, chopping up some samples using the new features. I also want to reiterate that we are having a massive Black Friday sale. So if you wanna get this Logic Pro, Masterclass, now is the time to do it, to get it up to 75% off. Let's have some fun chopping these samples. So I found this sample on Splice here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is drag and drop this right into Logic and put this on an audio track. All right, and what I love about Logic Pro, all you gotta do is take this audio file, drag it over to an empty track space, and then we can put this right into a quick sampler just to make this simple and just like that it's already chopped up now the first thing i like to do is change the polyphony on this i just like to put it to mono so this way it will cancel out the other chops as soon as you hit it now what we can do is mess around with these chops they have it set to slice we can manually go in and alter these we can change the sensitivity right and you can get all of these different chops based on the transient sensitivity to be specific here so it's set to transient mode now you can change this to beat divisions all right so you can continue to alter this however you want then we have equal divisions So I actually like these chops the way it is. So we have our uh, ADSR, our attack, decay, and release down here. And so what we can do is change this so we don't get so much of the clicky poppy sound. You can alter this. See there, it's taking a long time. So I'm gonna leave these chops right here and I'm gonna add some drums and I'm gonna use my chill hop kits and I'll leave that tag below for you guys. So what I'm gonna do is quantize this by hitting Q. And then what I'm gonna do is go into the hi-hats and just nudge those behind the beat. And then we could do option and then do the right arrow to start to nudge these. So now that we have this drum groove, we can go back to our chops. Yeah. I like that. That's a nice little groove. So I'm gonna add that. So what I'm gonna do is quantize this, hit the letter Q, and then we can actually go into more here and we can delay this by some ticks. Now guys, I have a Logic Pro Masterclass if you wanna go for the ultimate deep dive. We start from not knowing anything about Logic Pro to your final mix and master. And of course, we cover chopping and utilizing the new features and the updates. Now my favorite part about the class is being in this phenomenal growing community. It is expanding by the minute. This is where we can help each other, share our tracks and ideas and give each other feedback and just be a part of something where we feel like family. If you're interested in being a part of something like this, we would love to see you on the other side and I'll leave it tagged below. So now what I'm gonna do is do two phases. The first phase is I like this chop a lot, so I'm gonna commit to it, so I'm gonna bounce this in place. So what I'm gonna do is Control and B, and so then we can name this uh, Sample. And let's hit OK. I'm gonna do Command T and then chop this. Now the next thing I'm gonna to do to this for phase two is I'm gonna get the stems. 
So we can actually right click on this and do stem splitter. So we're going to do vocals. It doesn't have any drums, so we don't need that. No guitar. There is some piano in there. I don't know about other, but we can leave it. And then it has some bass. So we're going to hit apply. And just that quickly, we have the stems. See? Now, why do I like doing this? Because now I have the stems of my chops versus starting from getting the individual stems and chopping them. I now have all of this layered in. So if I want to interject and add some stuff, I have the space to do it. So let's say for the second round, I want to add my own bass. So we mute the bass and I'm going to use my sub 37 expansion pack. All you got to do is drag and drop the one shots into any sampler and any DAW and it will literally pull up for you. So we're going to do just that. All right. I'm going to go to tonal one shots and then I'm going to go to the smooth criminal base here and I'm going to drag and drop this into an empty space over here in a track area. And then we're going to go to sampler. And just like that. <laughs> We have it. So now we have this variation. So we have like the original here so we can mute the drums. Kind of prep it. Then we're going to. All right, I'm having a little bit too much fun. Let's go ahead. Let's cut something simple for the record. Here we go. Yeah. All right. And the shortcut for a new track is going to be option, command and in. And then we can go right back into Omnisphere. We have this new search icon, which is so dope. All right. Go to extensions. Let's go to strings and let's go to strings of the 70s. Here we go. guys got any value out of this video give your brother a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything and we are running a massive black friday sale right now guys so i want you to take full advantage of it i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.